Hey, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be doing an update on my brand new animated show called Dice Quest. So right now, we're in the process of making episode one, and I wanted to show you guys all the before process and what I've done beforehand to figure out the best way to animate, the fastest way. And you'll be seeing a whole bunch of test animations, a little add-on I made you can get in the description below to save a lot of time, and much more. So let's get right into it. So. First of all, let's start all the way back when I created my mecha face add-on. I made the add-on so I could easily add faces to the rigs and you create a whole bunch of different faces for all the different background characters. And you also can uh, buy that add-on on the mecha bricks shop in the description below. You can go and buy it there. And it works really well and I'm really glad that I made it and it's super cool. The next thing I did was I wanted to test out making smears and also animating on twos. I found it always annoying to do twos because you have to keyframe every time. And for the table animation, I only use constant instead of linear or all the other stuff because I wanted to give it most stop motion feel, but it would take me ages to do that. It's kind of like I have to do every frame. So I figured out how to add modifiers to the F curves that would make it go in twos. So, and I put that on an add-on. So everything you have selected, you click a button and it does it to all of the selected things and it adds in the modifier to every single F curve. Next up is also for this add-on, uh, by the way, it's called uh, Time Savers. You can also get it in the description below. I wanted to practice the smears. So what I did is I uh, simply knew already how to do smears. I you know, would append an object, that thing's still the same. And I would keyframe the location and then keyframe its visibility and render and viewport. And that would take forever. I, it was really annoying to do it manually. It would take a little while for each one. So I made, of course, I added this to the add-on. It's very simple. You get to set how many frames beforehand you can see it and how many frames after you can see it. And click a button and it does it automatically. So that saved me a lot of time. So after making that, I decided to test it out with this little test animation, as you can see right here. So yeah, that's the one of the test animations I did with it. I used the twos button I added to the add-on to make the animation on twos and make it seem more like stop motion. And I also used Bezier curves instead of just constant. So that saved a lot of time and it looked really good still. Also I have some smears using the add-on, very simple. So then I was like, okay, let's do some more research into the Lego movie behind the scenes. And I noticed their rigs are really nice and clean and easy to use. And I really wanted to figure out a way to easily flip the arm parts to switch it to the other arm part from, you know, like the other side. So I recreated that Lego movie rig and also added in some special features, like this little slider that flips the arm, which is pretty uh, weird because it's kind of breaking his joint, but that's fine. And also made a way better way to dislocate the arms out of the socket so you can do different positions. And it works really well. It also has IK, you can easily turn it off. Boop. Boop. And it's very, very helpful. Uh, so I decided to test that new rig out with a little animation. And for this one, I actually created my own materials. I just like to experiment with materials once in a while. So this one had these weird materials, which look decent. Um, so basically, yeah, this is using my time savers add-on and also using that new rig. As you can see from the smears, it looks like he's kind of stretching to the ground. It's kind of like, here's a little frame from the Lego Ninjago movie. You can see when he jumps, it does parkour and about to land, he stretches. It takes the principles of animation, but like we're using bricks. And it works really well and looks super cool. So then I was like, okay, we've learned so much, figured all this stuff out. I think it's time to actually make this show. But beforehand, I wanted to figure out how can I do the cloth, like capes and, and all that. Do I do simulations or do I rig it? So what I did is I actually rigged it for this character here and it works really well. I made it really easy to control and it saves a lot of time. As you can see here, here's a little test animation I did. As you can see, it flows pretty well. I am happy with it. So yeah, that was pretty cool to figure out. Now that that was figured out, I think I was pretty happy to actually get started on the show. I required a nice little team. Here they are. They're very helpful, especially Master Oshawa. You really helped, especially script writing. So far in around three to two weeks, I already have made two minutes of animation, proper animation, not just some lazy, dumb stuff. Just like that one Star Wars animation I did in like a day. 
But yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. It really helps, and it's free. So, you know, do it. And maybe in the next update video, I'll actually show a little clip from the first episode, or maybe a little teaser trailer. All right, guys, bye. See you in the next update video.